Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ainora. If you're new to my channel, if you are my subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Today is going to be a review of my Bottega Veneta padded cassette bag. I got it roughly, I would say, a month ago. I did an unboxing of this beautiful bag. I got it for such a good deal, almost a thousand dollars off from Farfetch. And you can check out my video, my unboxing video of this bag. I covered everything, how I got it on sale and all the details. But I would like to do a review today of this bag, how my, like my first impressions, how I'm so far liking this bag and what fits in this bag. And overall, my impressions and just basically covering uh, whether this bag is worth getting or not worth getting and, and pros and cons. So I had this bag roughly a month right now and I've, I've been pretty much wearing this bag on and off during weekends. Overall, I think this bag is actually, surprisingly, I really like this bag. And when I was like thinking of getting this bag, I was really worried about uh, the wear and tear. And actually, I was actually worried about if this bag is a hype, hyped up bag, because uh, it's a, such a popular bag. It, it was a popular bag last year, and it's still popular this year. I love uh, Bottega Veneta colors. And out of all the Bottega Veneta bags, I really like their cassette, uh, padded cassette. So this is this was my choice from Bottega Veneta. Also, I really love their bright colors. I've been on and on thinking of, of like which color to get. I really like the brown, the greens, and the the whites and everything. Like they have really really nice colors. And my choice was actually the first choice i really wanted this bag and i wanted the green one i couldn't decide which color to get so when i saw that this bag was on sale i quickly grabbed it and now i'm like wow i made a great decision because i really love this color it goes so well with everything that i have in my wardrobe the minute i took out this bag outside I was like wow this bag is so easy to use it's so nice like just the feeling like just to feel this bag and then just to carry this bag it's such a light bag um, it seems bulky and but because it's so like a pillow it's like a pillow um, feeling the bag has no weight like it doesn't have any hardware the braided leather it just looks so unique uh, it just catches everyone's eye and especially in this bright color it just it it will not go unnoticed by anyone i've taken out this bag only a few times and i already received so many great compliments and because like the bag just looks so great when you carry it and it looks so unique so go let's go ahead and see what's in my bag i did not touch it at all so this is all i have so this is what i have today i just came home from uh like from outside we had a really great family time and uh, this is how I packed it today. So the only thing you don't see here is my phone. And my phone does fit. This is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And I let me go ahead and put it here. So here it is. So I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max right packed here. And I have... Uh, this is my airpods and this is my main wallet from Louis Vuitton I love this so much and it packs a lot I have a card holder from YSL and I mainly carry my rewards uh, cards I have my four key uh, holder from Louis Vuitton as well 
I have a hand sanitizer, a Louis Vuitton perfume. I love this so much. And look at the look at the packaging. I really love uh, to carry this uh, in my bags. I I will link exact scent down below. But I, this is my favorite from Louis Vuitton. And I have a little hand lotion from L'Occitane and also a lipstick from a Gucci. Oh my gosh, it's like, you can't really see, but this is called Painted Veal and I love it. It's such a great nude, uh, everyday sheer color. And in the pocket, I have a little key as well another key so that this pocket in the back does not like it's attached by uh, like on the two sides and it has a zipper but then the pocket kind of has like the back side which you can like store your mask or your little like um, wet napkin so I have napkins and then I have a mask extra mask and I actually store it right, right here, so it's not like touching anything else. It, it's just packs right here, and so yeah, I I'm actually impressed how much this bag uh, fits. Because in the beginning, when I got this bag, um, the minute I opened the bag, I was like, wow, this bag is very small. Because it looks um, from like from the outside when you actually have when you act when I actually received it for the first time when I opened the bag I was like wow this is a very small bag but surprisingly I fit everything that I need for a whole day so I just packed it again and this is how it looks and it's actually pretty good I'm impressed. Um, so the lock is a bit weird you kind of have to get used to it but it's not really like it doesn't really annoy me it's a very safe uh, way of locking your I don't know closing or locking your bag so you don't have to worry if it's like a magnetic then I mean sometimes magnetics do tend to, oh, to open but this one, honestly, you cannot open easily. You have to push the flap down, like, and then open it. And then you have to go down and kind of like, it's a little challenging, I would say, but you kind of have to make an effort to close. So it can be a con for some people, but for me, because of the safety, um, side of it I really like this lock I maybe I wouldn't mind the magnetic as well but I don't really mind as well of this lock so overall pros and cons pros of the bag are understated look uh, very unique um, design easy to use uh, for me for me specifically easy to use because it's a lightweight bag and it has a great um, great strap which is which will not dig into your shoulder at all and I really like how this bag has a great qual high quality leather uh, I would I never thought that I'm gonna I'm gonna like the lambskin but I now understand how people prefer more lambskin it's actually the feeling of the leather you actually uh, I don't know like it just changes it makes it more more pleasant to use uh, your bag when it's a high quality leather another con I'm thinking of is the lambskin leather I don't know how it will wear but I do worry about the wear and tear of the lambskin but as of now using for roughly two I mean not two I think yeah two weeks but like five six times 
I do not see any wear and tear and I'm not gentle with any of my bags. I use them a lot. I have two kids and I'm not really careful with my bags. And I do not baby my bags, so I do, not, I do not see any scratches or any stains on my bag. So it might be a con. Eventually, I do not know how it will wear, but I have seen many reviews and some people are, I don't know, it's 50-50. Some people say it wears well, some people say it doesn't, so I'm not sure. So I'll keep you updated uh, in probably in six months. I will do another review and um, tell you all about the wear and tear of the bag. But as of now, I do not see any wear and tear. A con for this bag is only, just only at the opening. So if you kind of don't like this, kind of like an, make an effort to close and open your bag. The lock is a little challenging and that's totally fine for me, but some people um, might not like that. Uh, not, um, I cannot think of another con. Honestly, for now, I do not have any con. I love it so, so much. So would I recommend this bag to anyone? Definitely, if you love high quality leather, if you like understated bags, and if you like lightweight, um, I don't know, like easy to use, fun colors, I totally, totally would recommend this bag. If you are more into blacks or nudes, they have beautiful range of blacks. And they have a lot of nude colors, a lot of different nude colors, and I love it so much. Um, but if you're looking for a fun color, they have so many fun colors. I really love their greens. There's a, they have a bright green, they have darker green, they have this nice like lilac purplish color. They have this like kiwi color, which is like bright neon green no, not green yellow oh my gosh they have so many beautiful colors i'm like should i add another one i might add another one in a different fun color if i get same a deal like i got for this bag i got a thousand dollars off and i just like still cannot believe how i got lucky with that uh, deal let me go ahead and show you how i wear this bag so my favorite way to wear this bag is a crossbody and let me tell you the crossbody way is such a great i really love how this bag looks as a crossbody bag it's such a great I lace so well. It's a little bulkier, but because it's so squishy, it's so nice just to have this bag as a crossbody. You can wear this bag as a shoulder bag, um, but yeah, it's, it's an option to have this bag as a shoulder. And some people, I don't know, maybe for pictures or for like that, but this one has not, does not have a detachable strap, so you wouldn't be able to detach the strap. But some people wear it as a, like a clutch, but I just, for me, this is like, this is not convenient for me, so I will not wear this bag as a, as a clutch. Hopefully this video was um, informative and useful. If you are thinking of adding this bag, I totally 100% uh, suggest this bag to anyone that are thinking to add a, an understated yet high quality bag, then this is a way to go. They have many, many different beautiful colors. Well, that's it for my review of my Parrot Cassette bag from Bottega Veneta and hopefully this video was useful and informative. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram. I always show pictures of my bags, how I style them. So thank you so much. Bye bye!